What's going on, family? Robert here. So we've been in 1 Peter 3, 15, looking at giving a defense, a thought-out, logical explanation for the hope that lies within us. And so we've talked about some of the evidences that the Bible and the Word of God is true. We've talked about the fact that there is archaeological evidence. We've talked about that there is historical evidence. We've talked about the fact that there is manuscript evidence of why the Bible is true. But now we're going to talk about something else, something even more significant. But first, Peter says in 1 Peter 3, 15, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone. So I want to talk about another piece of evidence that proves that the Bible is true. And what they call that is internal consistency. Internal consistency. The Bible is one book, but it was written by many different authors over a extended time period in, in different lands, but it still contains one unified message of salvation. Let me give you some, some background. The Bible was written over a 1,500-year period. It was had 40 different authors that penned various books for the Bible. It was written over three continents, Europe, Africa, and Asia. It has two testaments, an Old and a New Testament. The Old Testament primarily being written in Hebrew and Aramaic. The New Testament primarily being written in Greek. But it is one unified story. One unified story of how God came to save mankind through his son, Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but... I can't agree with one other person. If I go and talk to my kids about something, we can't agree even with between ourselves. But somehow, God you're uniquely ordained through his spirit to allow 40 different people in different places at different time, time periods on different continents all write one unified, consistent story. A story of salvation. A story of a man named Jesus. And I don't know about you, but I find that amazing. I find that almost awe-inspired. I find that something that only God can do. And because of that, it gives me evidence that the Bible is true. The Bible is true based on its internal consistency about the message of Jesus, the message of the Savior, the message of our Emmanuel, God with us. So I want to encourage you today that the Bible, though it was written by various people and at various times and in various places, it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. It is the Bible is good. It was God is God breathed and good for teaching, for reproach, so that the man of God will be perfectly equipped, lacking nothing. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. It is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And though it was written in a way that wouldn't make sense to us today. Your Holy Spirit allowed everything to make sense, to point to Jesus. And we thank you for that, because that gives us the hope and the belief and can help us give a defense for why we believe what we believe. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to talk about evidence when it comes to apologetics for the Bible. God bless.